Hi, welcome to Detailing World. In today's video, we're going to be looking at safely removing dried on mud and dirt from your vehicle. Hi, so welcome back. If this is your first time here, my name's Matt. And as I say, today we're going to be looking at removing dried on dirt and mud from your car, from your 4x4, your off road, or whatever vehicle it may be. Before we do get too much into this, if you could give this video a quick like, and if you're not subscribed to this channel already, please do consider subscribing, it does help us out. So yeah, yesterday we went to Peak Ender, me and the parents, um, and it was an absolute mud bath there. Um, before we got into the festival, which is a beer and food festival, we popped into Bakewell itself, came back about an hour later and the car was covered in bird bombs, so we thought we'd move the car. Long story short, it got stuck, I got it out, mud all up the sides, mud in the interior because the windows are down, and it looks horrendous now. So yes, today's mission is to get that mud off the car as safely as we can. So to begin with, um, normally my usual wash routine, I would obviously clean the wheels first and then move on to snow foam in a pre-wash, um, rinse the car, then wash the car and all of that. Today, because of the amount of mud on there, um, I'm going to be foaming it first using something like the Lava 2 from Detailed Online. And this does actually say it'll cut through. It's perfect for heavily soiled cars, basically. So we're going to be going with that. Um, we'll give that a hit of snow foam first, soften up that dirt, rinse it, and then assess the situation after. So yeah, we'll dive right into this then. So for this mix, I'm gonna to go to a one to nine ratio, which is the direction on the bottle. So that's 100 mil of product to 900 mil of water in your snow foam bottle. Right, so that's all the pre-wash stage done. It does take a lot longer than a normal pre-wash. It's probably taken me just over an hour, but I have been messing around with a camera. If you weren't obviously messing around, you know, filming yourself as well, it's probably gonna take you like half hour, maybe two or three times as long as it normally would. Um, but obviously the aim here is to get as much of the dirt and mud off without touching the car, really. Um, so you will have to repeat the process maybe a couple of times. So what I did is snow foam it initially and make sure you get the snow foam right in the arches, right into the wheels, and give that a good few minutes, you know, apply a thick blanket of snow foam, I would, personally. Um, once that's had enough time to soak and try and dissolve as much of the dirt as possible, rinse that off and assess the situation again then. So I still had quite a bit, it took off all the big chunks of surface dirt, but I still had some dirt left on there, so I went round, as you've seen, with a pressure sprayer, and then coated the entire car, top to bottom, in an all-purpose cleaner, by the time I'd gone around and done that, I mixed up a weak solution of snow foam, so I had a bit left from the previous um, mix. Topped that up a bit, um, added a few drops of all-purpose cleaner as well, so if you've not got a strong snow foam, that's a good tip, is just put some all-purpose cleaner in your usual snow foam, and that should help. Um, so yeah, I applied a thin blanket, again, left that just for a minute or two to try and dissolve into that dirt, and again, pressure wash that. And now it's probably taken about 90% off, it's just the, a few dirt spots um, that are going to need you know, washing by hand now. If you have a wheel arch or an underbody lance, get that out as well. Um, that's really going to help you clean those arches and just keep that spraying until the water starts running clear so you know you've got as much of that out as possible. Ideally you'd have the wheels off if you could, um, but this shows that you don't always need to be taking wheels off and jacking the car up. So yeah, now we're gonna go on with a usual wash method, start on the wheels, 
So yeah, on to a normal detail from now. Okay, so that's Carl washed and rinsed and dried off now. Um, at this point, I was hoping to be finished with this and um, just tidy up the interior. But it looks like all over the bonnet, on the roof, down the passenger side where all the mud splats were, it's left like staining or something like that on the paintwork. So I've tried hitting it, first of all, just with a panel wipe. That didn't remove it. Tar remover and things like that, that's not removed it. Clayed it, that hasn't removed it. And um, even then went with a hand polish. That improved it a little bit. So I've just tried a bit now on a DA with a finishing pad and a finishing polish. That's kind of bringing it back a bit more. Um, I think I'll stick with that. I've got the car back you know, in a few weeks. It's the parents' car anyway. So uh, I've got a few more videos to do with this. So we'll just try and smarten this up using a DA and get rid of these basically patches and spots all over the car. Scratch that, we'll go for a cutting pad with a medium to heavy polish. Okay then, so there we have it, that's the car all done. Um, basically, once you've got most of the dirt off really, um, it's just like a normal detail after that. So, you know, do a panel at a time or wash top to bottom. Um, and just make sure you rinse your mitt out thoroughly. As you could see there, there was one clip that I showed. Um, as long as you've rinsed it all properly, you're not really pulling off much dirt anyway. You should get a lot of it off before you even touch the car. Um, and there should be no need to scrub either. The dirt should just come off like any other wash. So yeah, the only bit that was a bit unexpected was the spotting. As I say, I had to change from the finishing pad, maybe because it was on a DA, to more of a cutting pad with a medium to heavy polish. Um, and then, as I say, after that, you just get on with the usual routine. So that is waxing, do all your trims and all your dressings and all that jazz. You've seen me do that enough in the past, so I've not videoed that. I'm now gonna move on to the interior. And again, you've seen me do that. If you haven't, there's a video up here. Uh, I think it's 15 steps on detailing your interior. So make sure you check that out. And as always, if you've enjoyed this video, make sure you smash that like button. If you're not subscribed to this channel, please do consider subscribing. Follow us on Instagram as well. We're on there as Detailing World Official. I'm on there as Randomly Set if you want to view all the behind the scenes and all of that. Again, check the merch store if you want anything like this. Yeah, and enough of the plug-in and promotional. We'll see you in the next video. Yeah.